Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here and we are back with another video as of today and um, it's going to be another sports betting video of course and it's going to be for Wednesday, December 9th slate of games. This video will be coming out a little bit later. Unfortunately, they didn't have like any lines up at all overnight. Um, so because of that, I couldn't really make the video the night before so I'm making it the morning of. So, um, first I did just want to go ahead and say thank you guys. I'm only two subscribers away from 200, so I'd love to be able to see that by the end of the day. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are watching this and you're not new, make sure you tell a friend about it and we'll be able to hit that 200 by the end of the day. But first let's recap. As of last night, we did have another profitable day. So we are, um, so we have been profitable on back to back days. Hopefully we can make that three straight. That would be amazing. But let's do a little recap first. So, we, as of last night, the plays that we did have was Tatum over 27.5 points versus the Lakers. Dude had 21 in the first half. He cashed it like towards the end of the third, I believe. Um, and then we had James Harden double-double versus the Mavs. He gets that pretty easily. He ends up with like 14 assists or something crazy. But then we also had the Spurs plus three. Um, and that did not work out at all. I don't know if it was because the Spurs were on a back-to-back. -back. I don't know. I don't know what the case was, but that, that one definitely didn't hit. But we ended up 2-1, profitable. It's all that really matters. So, before we start, I do want to say that a lot of these plays are juiced. So, if you guys are looking for you know, something that is going to win you a lot of money all in one go, this is not, this is not going to be the day for you because, truthfully, I didn't really see a lot of lines that I liked. Um, I felt like a lot of them were really like right where they needed to be um, except for these ones that were just a little bit juiced so I do apologize about that but hopefully if we do end up going 4-0 then we'll still profit by quite a good margin so um, we'll go ahead and start it out here first we have Darius Baisley under eight and a half points tonight versus the Raptors he has cashed this under in 12 straight games it's minus 125 odds so like I said, a little bit juice, but that's not even the most juice one we have on here. So, um, minus 125, he's cashed us in 12 straight games, so he's been really bad as of the last 12 games. Also, on top of that, Toronto is a top 10 defense in the league as of right now when it comes to just opponents scoring in general, so they don't allow a lot of points. Um, and then, you know, Toronto gives up the sixth fewest points per game to opposing power forwards. I don't know what the case is for that but apparently they play a lot of good defense on the power forward position so Darius Baisley is going to be in for a rough night and I think I'm not sure if SGA will be back or not um, I know he was dealing with like some concussion stuff so he could be out a little bit longer but if he is in that helps our bet even more because it's taking away a lot of shots from Darius Baisley um, so that so hopefully that first one does cash. That's gonna be our first play of the day. Darius Baisley under eight and a half points versus the Raptors minus 125 odds. Next we have a bet from my Bulls game. Of course I'm going to be watching the Bulls game tonight. So with that being said, I did want to make a play with it. So it is going to be Evan Mobley under 14 and a half points versus Chicago minus 120 odds. Um, he has cashed this under in six of his last seven. So he is you know hit this under quite frequently um, pretty good cashing percentage ever since they've gotten some of those other bigs back he's just not seen the shots that he has with those guys out that's simply all it is as we all know Chicago is the top seven defense top seven defense this year so they are just extremely good defensively um, at least in comparison to last year and then despite having a lot of injuries and stuff like that with, with like Patrick Williams and we're not sure about Caruso yet, um, stuff like that, the Bulls still have really good gritty defenders off of our bench. I mean, you look at a guy like Derek Jones Jr., who is super athletic. He's started to play a lot of defense. We have Io DeSumo out of Illinois. Um, he's a really good defender. I don't know if he would really be playing defense on the power forward probably not since he's like seven foot we'll probably be running Derek Jones Jr. but um, you know we just have a lot of good gritty defenders out there and I think it's going to make it really tough for Evan Mobley to score I think most of the scoring is going to come from the like shooting guard small forward positions um, and I just don't think Evan Mobley is going to get a lot of shots tonight. So that's my first that's my second play Evan Mobley under 14 and a half points versus Chicago minus 120 
Next, we have Cole Anthony over four, over five and a half assists, minus 135. Um, this line I felt like was just a little bit too low. So he has cashed in six of his last seven games, um, just outright. The only time that it didn't cash was against the Golden State Warriors, who, as we know, is the best defensive team in the entire league. So really, what can you do about that? I mean, the shooters on the team aren't going to be able to get their shots if they're playing against a really good defense. It's just going to be very tough. Um, Sacramento is also the third worst scoring defense. So there's going to be a lot of points scored just in general. So they give up just a lot of points. That's simple, simple as that. And the Kings give up eight, eight and a half roughly assists to opposing point guards. And lucky for us, since the Magic have a lot of injuries with Jalen Suggs, Michael Carter Williams, and Markel Fultz out, Cole Anthony is really the only ball handler on the entire team. So, um, so all 8.3 assists are going to Cole Anthony if it's you know based off of an average perspective, of course. So he would cash this extremely easily if he got eight. So hopefully, hopefully we can see that out of him and. I, I do like the way that the Magic team is set up with um, with Cole Anthony running the point guard position, and then we have, you know, I like Wendell Carter Jr. He is a former Bull, but I do like him a lot. So that's going to be my third play: Cole Anthony over five and a half assists, minus one thirty-five. And then for my final pick, like I said, I didn't really find a whole lot that I liked, so I'm taking this. This one's kind of a, you know, just kind of a throw it out there type of play. If you guys want to fade this, it's plus odds the other direction, so you guys definitely could. But I have Bucks first to 10 points versus Miami, minus 145 odds. You can find this on DraftKings if you guys um, if you guys do have access to DraftKings. Um, if not, I think there is one on FanDuel. I personally don't have access to it. Um, I just haven't drove all the way to wherever to go sign up for it. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, the Heat are without Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, so that takes away not only a lot of defense from the team because they're going up against Giannis, so it takes away a lot of defense from the team, but also Jimmy Butler is a pretty good scorer, and even Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo gets you anywhere from 15 to 20 points a night, so the so that's taking away a lot of scoring and a lot of defense from this team. And the Bucks have been absolutely tremendous in the first quarter. Um, I didn't necessarily get a statistical number because I wasn't really sure how to look that up um, other than maybe looking at box scores but like in the first quarter I know that they've been really really good they have pounced on teams early and it has just been really good and then um, I feel like they'll want to get out to a to just a quick lead just in general because I mean this this heat team I just don't know without without Butler and without out of bio how good are they really going to be? I just, I I really don't know. So I feel like um, they'll want to get out to a quick lead, kind of put their bench in, kind of, you know, get get the rest of it going. So that's going to be my four plays as of today. So hopefully they do all end up cashing. But as I said, at the time of recording this video, we are two subscribers away from 200. So hopefully we can hit that number. Um, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Um, we're on back-to-back -back profiting days. Hopefully we can make that three in a row. But this is King Center signing out. Peace.